Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to set default terms and conditions in accounting of Odoo 16. For that, let me go to the accounting module and here in the configuration settings of the accounting module, you need to enable the feature default terms and conditions. So after enabling the feature, you have two options that is add a note and add a link to the web page. So I'll click on add a note and here you can add a default note. So I'll just give it as terms and condition for now. So I'll save it. So you can give the terms and condition of a company here. So it would be taken as the default terms and condition for all your sales order that you are doing under this company. And now let me save it. After saving it, you can go to the sales order. That is the sales module and you can create a new quotation and you can add the customer's name. So after adding the product to the order line. So let me add the product to the order line and I'll just save it. And you have the option to print the quotation. So once you print the quotation here, you can see the terms and condition that is added as we have given it as default. And now let me go back again and let me confirm it. So once it is turned into the sales order, you have the option to create the invoice and you have the different types of invoice. So if you want to create an invoice, you can create an invoice. And you can also see the customer preview of your invoice here. And you can see that the terms and condition being added here that we have given as default. So let me go back again to the sales order. And here in the accounting module, let me go to the accounting module and in the configuration settings, you need to give the second option that is the add a link to the web page. So clicking on it, you can update your terms and condition here. So let me just save it. And you can also view the preview of your terms and condition. When you click on it, you can see the preview of your terms and condition. So let me go back to the settings here. And after you give it as the web page link, you can just save the settings. And after saving the settings, you can now go to the sales module. So I'll just go to the accounting here. I'll just confirm whether I have saved the settings. So yes, I have saved the settings and now let me just go back to the sales module and I'll be creating new quotation. So I'll add the customer name and I'll add the product to the order line. I'll confirm it. Once I've confirmed it, you can see it is changed into the sales order and I'll create an invoice and here I'll be clicking it as the create and view invoice so that I can see the invoice when it is created. So after confirming it, you can just send and print the invoice here. So once you confirm it, you can see it is in posted state and I'll just print the invoice here. And as you can see in the invoice that the link is given here and clicking on the link will redirect you to the terms and condition of your company. So this is how you give dynamic terms and condition for your sales orders in Odoo 16. That's all for today. Thank you.